Hi folks, Jason here with Hamble Chair Ranch. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the oil change on the 50 hour maintenance on our 2022 CX2510. Hi everyone. So while Jason's doing his work around the homestead, I am planting some garlic that I had started in the house. Let me show you what we got. So I took a head of garlic and I put it in a coffee cup with a little flat rock at the bottom, put a little bit of water in it, and I have garlic growing. Broke up one of the heads. You can see all the roots that came out. And now I'm starting to plant it up. I am planting them in the bed. I am going to be planting my tomatoes in for a companion planting. Keep all the bugs away and the little critters away from the tomato plants. Just doing some of them today, just the ones that have gotten big. And I'll finish up the rest later. So if you're wondering why I have the silly net on, it's because right now the black flies are just awful. I've actually got them flying inside of the net, but at least they're not, you know, completely on my face. They're going to be bad for a couple of weeks, so pretty much all my videos outside are going to have this hair net on. So we've really got two things to focus on. The first thing are the uh, two drain plugs that come on this coyote and then the oil filter. Now, I've heard horror stories about the oil filter, so we're gonna do that last. Uh, but let's go ahead and open up the drain plugs and drain the oil. So the plugs we have here, they're the, these two here. Uh, they are 17 mil, and so we're gonna go ahead and pop those off and we'll get the oil drained. The soil looks pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and pop the second one off. And we'll go ahead and let that drain out. Okay, so now that those are pretty much all empty, and drain we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our plugs back in okay so the next step here is to pull the filter now <laughs> the engineers at coyote and all of their awesomeness put it right over the front axle so we are gonna put a towel over the front axle just to try to prevent oil from spilling all over it so let's see if we can do that 
And all right, so we've got our towel on there to help catch some of it. Uh, now, I have heard horror stories about how tight these oil filters are. Uh, so, but we're gonna give it a shot. I've got a couple of different wrenches. We'll try the band wrench first. If that doesn't help, then we'll go to the, the wrench type of uh, uh, band. So, or the wrench type of filter wrench. This filter came right off. No problems at all. Yep. Actually, that was really, really easy. So funny story about these filters. Many years ago, in a prior life, uh, I worked at Jiffy Lube doing oil changes. And uh, we would take these oil filters and we had a crusher. But the crusher would typically just crush the center down. And uh, uh, they made great ashtrays. Obviously, you'd have to clean them out before you brought them home, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the next step here is to get the new oil filter on. So the, re so the replacement filter that we're putting on for this CX2510 is an E6201 oil filter um, that we picked up on Amazon. It is a Coyote uh, original uh, or OEM part. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, Whenever we're putting oil filters on, uh, we always want to make sure we free lube the uh, filter. One way to do that is to just get some oil on your finger and just spread it along the face of the gasket like so. And then go ahead and put it on. Now, oil filters do not need to be uh, extremely tightened. Uh, as a matter of fact, rule of thumb is uh, hand tight as best you can. Uh, and so that's exactly how we're going to put this one on. Now, because I have oil, though, I am going to take my towel, grab it. <clears throat> give it a good, good turn. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and by putting the towel there, I think I got a couple of drops on the front axle, but that's it. All right, next up is we gotta add oil to it. All right, so the oil cap, where we're gonna be adding oil is under the hood here. Ooh, that is tight. That's very tight. We're going to go ahead and take the cap off, which was surprisingly tight. All right, we got the cap off. It's good. Okay. All right, so we got our funnel in. We're ready to add oil. Uh, this particular motor takes six quarts of oil, and the type of oil we're adding is the synthetic uh, Mobile Extreme. It's a heavy duty diesel engine oil, 15W40. So, with six quarts having to be added, we're going to add a gallon and a half. Okay, 
So now that we've got six quarts in it, we're gonna go ahead and let the funnel uh, completely empty out and we'll come right back, we'll pull the funnel. So while we wait for the funnel to empty out, I just wanna go over this. Uh, so now that I have an empty gallon jug of oil, I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm going to carefully pour the old oil into this. I'm gonna write used on it and I'm gonna stick it in the shop somewhere. Now used oil can be used on a number of different things. Uh, for me personally, I do like to use it on the, uh, in my chainsaws for chain oil, uh, and I also use it for lubricants on whatever I may need uh, in the shop. So while we wait for the uh, funnel to empty out, which by the way, I don't, I'm sure that you don't have to let it drain completely, but I do uh, simply because it helps prevent it making a mess. Um, but while that's doing that, I did want to show you guys this. Our friend Alan over at Wilderness Hangout came by and dropped off a load of apple wood for us. Uh, so Alan, thank you so much for that. We really do appreciate it. Now, some people don't like to use apple wood for firewood. Uh, we do, um, but the key to apple wood is making sure that it's dry. So this stuff here just got cut this season. We're gonna stick it in the back of our wood shed and we're gonna let it dry for a minimum of two years before we even consider using this uh, in the cook stove. All right. Okay, so now that we've added the oil, we've uh, pulled out our funnel. We're gonna put the cap back on and secure it nice and tight. Now, this next step you don't have to do, uh, but I like to do it. It's something I've been doing for years and that is check the oil level. Uh, just to make sure, even though I know I just added it, to make sure that there is oil in there. And again, you don't have to do this. I like to do it, again, just to double check and make sure that there is oil in this engine. If for some reason I did mess something up, I do not want to start this engine with no oil. The results of that could be catastrophic. Yep, I got plenty of oil. Okay, so we've drained the old oil out, we've replaced the oil filter, we've added new oil, so really the next step is just to get it started. So the last step here now is to check the oil level. Make sure that we got the oil level correct. That oil level is spot on. All right, folks, well, that is it. That is how we do the oil change on the CX2510 Coyote. Uh, it is very uh, simple. It's, it's really cut and dry. Um, oil and oil filter. Now there are some other things that we need to do for the 50 hour maintenance. And we'll go ahead and do those in another video. But uh, we wanted to show what it was like to change the uh, oil on these tractors. Uh, and honestly, like I said, it was pretty simple. All right, well, that's it for this video, folks. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you folks on the next video.